Good day, YouTubers. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video, but usually when I'm making a video, it's because something's wrong um, or something's broken or I'm trying to fix it. So here I am again uh, on my 2012 um, Silverado with the Duramax. Uh, I was sitting at a stoplight the other day and I got a uh, reduced engine power notice and um, uh, P0103 code. Um, I can show you how I got that too, or how I found that out. Uh, but first of all, check this out. All right, so uh, on my edge monitor, I wasn't monitoring math, but I just went in and I switched it to monitor math. And I was showing 625 grams per second. Um, 625 grams per second usually indicates an open. So that means that either you have a uh, bad sensor, an open sensor, or um, <clears throat> you have an open wire somewhere. So I'll show you how to troubleshoot that. All right, so first thing you're gonna need to do is ignore this mustache on my face. Uh, the second thing you're gonna need to do is locate the uh, MAF sensor, which is right here. So here's your air box your uh, arm going, your tube, pipe, whatever the heck you want to call it, going out. MAF sensor. <clears throat> cool. Now that we got that out of the way, we want to go, let me position the camera here so that it makes sense. So you want to go ahead and pull the, uh, the plug off. It's just a little, press this down, it slides off really easy. Uh, there might be a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the way that I did it. So first I went ahead and took my multimeter. You're going to need a multimeter to troubleshoot this way. Took my multimeter, set it to um, ohms slash continuity diode check. And I went ahead and looked up what these signals are supposed to be. So the plug goes in this way. So when you flip it back, this should be your first pin on the left hand side of the plug here. Um, that's supposed to be your ground. Then you have a five volt signal, five volt signal, 12 volt signal, and then an open or another ground. So once you got your multimeter set up, like I showed you, you can go ahead and, and check this one, this very first one for continuity. That'll kind of make this the rest of this process just a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera situated now to show you that. All right, I got the camera situated. So um, now I'm going to just check my leads real quick uh, by touching them together on the continuity setting. And yep, leads are good. So then you take your plug here and take your red lead or probe and your black one to uh, ground point on the chassis and that indicates I got good continuity on at least my ground pin of my harness. Uh, you do that with the truck off and then the next step you're going to want to do with the ignition on. Alright so for this you're going to want to set your multimeter to voltage and the default setting on mine is ac so you, i hit select and it goes to dc you're going to be want to checking what you're going to want to be checking this in dc um so then you take your black probe to what we determined was a good ground pin here on your first pin and i go to my second pin here and i have five volts so that one's good third pin and 4.9a that's a good signal a 5 volt signal fourth pin 11.63 yeah that's a good 12 volt signal and my last one should be open from ground yeah and it is so what we've effectively done is we have verified that i have the input signals that i need to my sensor um which would allude to the sensor itself being bad. Now you could go ahead and plug this in and then back probe it on this side, um, depending on the type of connector you have. 
some of them have room to back probe um mine does not so i decided that i wasn't going to try to screw this plug up and i was just going to inspect my math sensor so now that i determined i got a good signal so this is the old math sensor i went ahead and took it out i sprayed it with um some cleaner math sensor cleaner from uh from the parts store that did nothing so i started looking closely at stuff and after i found i looked close enough i found that this very last vein here if you can see it the wire in there is actually loose this wire which would make sense of why i had the 625 uh, grams per second which like I said before is an indicator of an open so I went and got this math sensor for $20 off of Amazon after I found out that the uh, OEM replacement is $163 and a lot of people said that um that they, they basically just don't work right off the rip or whatever, they're not good. I figured for $19 or I think it was 19 or 29, I can't remember, but I figured I'd give it a shot. I'll link the, the link to this in the description so that you can buy this one if you want. Um, I'm on, this is the first day of it. I've had no issues with it. And I guess I'll do a follow-up video um, a couple weeks in, let you know if it's still working. But anyways, um, Hopefully that helps. Please feel free to message or leave a comment if you have any questions about this process. And um, if you found this video useful or helpful in any ways, please like and subscribe. And it would help me out a lot. Thank you.